What did I tell you? What did I tell you? I told you he was coming, but yet you was in my comment section just bothering me, trying to get my hopes down, trying to make me look stupid. When I kept banging it in your head that dude, he signed his contract. He's not going to OH. This ain't no work. Freaking, um, it's not going to be no damn Bray Wyatt or Elias or Taker or Shane McMahon. I said, it's Cody and Seth. They dropped hints for the past month that he was coming, but nobody was trying to believe me. Everybody thought I was trolling. People thought I was getting my hopes up. Hey, what, what are you going to do if Cody don't show up? I'm like, bro, he's getting paid over $3 million. Why would he leave AW, right? To go to his old company if he was going to get paid what he was making in AW. That's stupid. When you are getting paid that much money, yes, you are a top guy. You are a top guy in the WWE. But the point is, man, Adrenaline in my soul. The WWE just signed Cody Rhodes. He is back home. Man, look. When, dude, once once the lights went dark, man, my heart was beating so fast. Because I'm like, dude, this better be Cody. My heart was beating fast as hell, man. Dude, that was one. That was like... That was like the longest 45 seconds of my life. I was just waiting on this dude. I'm like, man, this guy be Cody. Then once the song came up, I'm like, man, I was yelling. Look, man, I was yelling at my TV saying, Cody, Cody, Cody. The whole building was saying, Cody, Cody. It's crazy. His last company that he, that he built, they were saying Cody sucks. He went from that to going back to his old company where the whole audience was saying Cody, Cody, Cody after the whole match. He felt more like a top guy walking down to the damn ring compared to his whole entire AEW run, man. Let that sink in. He felt like a top five guy in the damn company just walk into the damn ring because the WWE when they want to they know how to treat you like a top guy it was basically his AEW entrance but it was more amped up yeah more theatrics more pyro his pyro made you feel like dude this guy is a top five guy in the company that's what WWE does they are the best at presenting talent where it's like okay we know he is a big deal that's what they did tonight with Cody Rose how come Khan, how come Khan ain't do that how come AEW didn't do that with, with Cody Rose to me in his last company man, dude, he didn't feel like a top guy to me he felt like a TNT champion they didn't push him like they should have now he's back to his to his to his home company. He's a top guy. You see, AW, that's how you book a guy to be your top star. That's how you book him. It's not about having great matches, bro. It's about how you present your talent. It's all about presentation. That's what it's all about. Dude, that crowd went wild, man. Dude, go on, go on Twitter. There's people who are uploading videos who are who are at who are at the uh, stadium. They were screaming, yelling, going crazy over Cody, because everybody knew he was he was coming. That crowd went nuts. Cause everybody, man, look, it was just it was just freaking surreal. Because like I still see him as a AEW guy. That's why it was freaking surreal seeing him. Even though we knew he was coming, it, it was still surreal seeing him. After six years away from the company, ROH, 
freaking um New Japan Wrestling, AW. It was just surreal seeing him in a WWE ring against a top guy like Seth Rollins. That's, that was a dream match. For the past this year, that, that is now a dream match. It was just crazy seeing him on WWE television, but it, it was just, it, it was insane. This guy was the founder of AW. He helped build AW, the competition. Now he's back to his home company. It, it, was, it was just crazy seeing him. It was it was it was crazy. It was like it felt like watching the NWO kind of invade the WWE back in the invasion angle. That's how that's how I felt. It, it was like, man, it's kind of weird seeing Scott Hall back in the WWE. It was weird seeing Hogan Nash back in the WWE. It was it was weird. It felt different. That's how I felt like watching Cody Rose walking down that ramp, man. People were just shot like, wow, man, he's back. People went crazy for, for Cody for, um Cody Rose. And no, look, don't pay attention to these damn haters of uh, Cody Rose. Okay, don't pay attention. I don't. Come on, bro. Don't pay attention. That crowd went nuts. You have to have been there to experience how loud that crowd was. That's a big ass stadium. Okay, that is a big ass stadium. He got a huge pop, crazy pop. The crowd was chanting Cody Rose. But let's let's um break down the match. This match was his best match within the last six years. Okay, let that sit in for a moment. This was his best match within the last six years. When he was in AW, yeah, he was having he was having good matches, but it wasn't like this. This was a great goddamn match. It felt like a main event. In fact, that should have been a main event, actually. Seriously. That should have been a dude. That was that felt like a world title match. Seriously, that felt like a world title match. And Seth Rollins, he's a he's a top guy. So the fact that he uh, like a damn five star match with a top guy like a Seth Rollins, come on man, he felt like a top guy. That was a great match, man. Like I tell people. They are going to tear the house down because they are very, they are very evenly matched. When it comes to talent-wise, they are very evenly matched. They're both athletic. They both, they both do like the same thing. They're both like, they're like, look, it's weird. They are the same size too. Same height, same size, same kind of move set. Like they are very similar. So, so I, I knew they are going to have a great goddamn match that's going to tear the house down and they and they did it's like dude cody wasn't doing that sh man he was doing that and they dug been like dude that was a great goddamn match and it didn't feel like a damn it didn't feel like a spot fest that was a wrestling match that's the difference between that match and the matches he was having with uh i don't know uh What's his name? Um, Sammy G, Jericho, dude, like dudes like that, like Darby Allen. Like, no, this was a pure wrestling match, back and forth. The crowd was, man, they were going crazy. They were saying, "This is awesome." They were, they was going nuts over this match. This match had mat wrestling, high fly. It was like every spot seemed logical. That's what it boils down to. Every spot was logical. It wasn't like, oh, let's do this spot just to freaking pop the audience. No, every spot fit the flow of the match. Like they had a suplex off to the outside. Um, the suicide dives looked good. The high flying was crisp, good. Uh, the uh, Cody Cutter that was that was crisp. Like they had great scientific mat wrestling ground wrestling chain wrestling it had everything like i said i was excited about this match because they are very evenly matched they do the same thing that's why for the past two months i was excited like bro 
like, dude, they should have multiple matches, man. They gotta have multiple matches, like at least maybe four more or, or three more. They gotta have a grudge feud. This ain't this ain't over, man. Obviously, this is not over. They will have a grudge feud. They they have to. They have to. It's like seeing, dude, seeing this Cody Rose, dude. I'm telling you, man. He has to dethrone Roman Reigns. That's see, that's not crazy now. See, that ain't. Dude thought I was crazy saying that Cody Rose will beat Reigns. I mean, look at look at whatever tonight. Look how good he looked tonight. He was a he was a top guy tonight. He felt like a top five guy in the company that could beat Reigns. That crowd was going crazy for, for uh, Cody. And dude, but the fact that he got his old theme song back. It's like, dude, like, how can you not think he ain't gonna be a top guy if they allowed him to keep his AEW song? He has everything. He has his. He has. He has, he has the ring gear. He has a song. He has a pyro. He has more pyro, better pyro. See what I'm saying? And I love the fact that Seth said, "Welcome back to the big leagues, bitch." <laughs> I'm like hell yeah, you. I'm like hell yeah, Seth. You tell him. You tell him, Seth. Welcome back to the big leagues, Cody. Back where you belong. The big leagues, the major leagues, the NBA, the freaking NFL. You in the big leagues now, man. Ain't no damn my leagues. You in the big leagues. Back in the big leagues, wrestling for the damn near what? It was I think. I think it was sold out. I think they said it was like seventy-seven thousand or some sh or some shit. But it was a lot of people. Cody McMadu. This was the biggest match of his career. Let's let's just keep it a buck. This was Cody Rose' biggest match of his career because he has never felt like this kind of guy since the last six years. It's like, dude, like he felt, like, dude. It felt like he was a goddamn Undertaker. <laughs> That's how big he was going into this match. He was a, he was a myth. He was a ghost because people were trying to throw us off, saying, "Oh, it's gonna be Shane or Taker or Elias or, or some shit." No. So his mystique was growing each day. Dude, Cody Rose has never felt like felt like this kind of guy ever. See, this is what the WWE does. They make you feel like you were a top guy, a top star, and that's what he is now. He's a top star now. Because when the WWE wants to, they know how to book you as a top guy, as a, as a star. When it comes to the presentation of your act. That's what they did tonight, man. That was a five-star match. I think that was a match of the year, man. That match was my cup of tea. That's what I look for. A match that don't have too many spots. All the spots are logical and it flows. Whereas like, dude, these guys were trying to out-wrestle each other. That's what I look for. Are you trying to show off or are you trying to whoop each other's ass? That's what they did. This match felt like it was a feud within the last five months. Okay, this match felt like it was a damn blood feud. That's how that's how hard these guys were going at one another. That's what I like. I mean, I tell you, man. This will not be their last match. They are going to have a couple of more matches. And I and I hope so. These guys, like I said on my on, on my past posts, I said these guys will have great chemistry. That's what I said. They will have great chemistry because they are very similar. So the bottom line is Cody Rose has best match within the last six years against Seth Rollins. Let that sink in. 
See, that's what being a part of the WWE does. They have professional talent that you can work with that make you look good. Now, Cody Rose, he made Seth look great. Seth, vice, um, vice versa. That's what I was looking for. I said, Cody Rose is going to make Seth look great and vice versa. And that's what happened. I'll tell you, man, I really do see Cody Rose beating Reigns for the WWE Championship. That's what I see in his future. That entrance, dude, he felt like the goddamn Undertaker. <laughs> see, he felt like the goddamn Undertaker. And look, they are going to try their best to rub it in AEW's face. Here's what I mean. They are going to push him to the goddamn moon. That's what they're going to do. Because that's what AEW does. They take top guys from the WWE, right? And they push them, and they push them right to the moon. Just to spite the WWE. And that's what Vince is going to do with uh, Cody. He's going to he is going to put the rocket pack on Cody Rose to the goddamn moon to spite AEW. Vince is going to show Tony Khan, look, you did not book Cody Rose to his potential. Even though Cody was good, but now Cody will be a top guy because Cody has gotten better. He has grown these past six years. Just like, just like Drew McIntyre. Exactly like Drew McIntyre. Cody Rhodes will be the next Drew McIntyre. I guarantee it. Because he made himself to a star after leaving. Same as Drew. But here's the difference. Cody Rhodes built a goddamn company, man. Drew didn't do that. That's why this is a bigger deal. This guy was booking matches for AW, man. Now he's in the WWE as a damn wrestler. Come on, man. This is a bigger deal. This is like I'm telling you. This this is like guy. This this is like Goldberg going to the W, right? This is like Nash, Scott Hall, Ray, figuring on Booker T coming to the WWE. It's a big deal. So, to cut this video short, Cody is now a top guy in the WWE. They made him into a star tonight, man. A superstar tonight. Look, man, I got, I got kind of got emotional. <laughs> like, seriously. I kind of got emotional. Once I heard his theme song, I'm like, wow. They gave him his theme song, too? It's like, I thought he was gonna come out to, uh, you're only smoking mirrors. Wow. But it was not smoking mirrors. It was his AEW song, bruh. I'm like, wow, they gave him everything he asked for. So, look, man, I'm very, very happy for, for uh, Cody Rose, man. He got everything he wanted. Mark, mark my words, man. This guy will be a world champion this year. That's it. I'm, I'm, I'm done.